and he started playing this music and it was uh, I mean I, I couldn't believe it like what is that and it was Little Richard, Chuck Berry and then eventually uh, I had a friend who bought and learnt guitar uh, and we formed a band. If you can imagine there's four black guys in the band who were mainly from Watts in Los Angeles or Harlem in New York, right? Somewhere like that. Um, and they used to talk jive talk, you know. And they'd be talking about us, we'd all be in the same car, same vehicle. Um, so John and I worked out a routine as much as they talk jive talk, which we couldn't understand. We used to talk broad Lancashire, and they couldn't understand a word of it. Eat, or eat. They had a ball. I mean, they were like uh, instant stars, if you know what I mean. You know, just because they were black and American. But you know, in the days of um, pop groups, you know, Cliff Richard and the Shadows, uh, you know, those kind of groups, like, uh, there were loads of us out there who wanted to be purely musicians. We kind of leaned towards things that were not so much difficult to play, but challenging to play. And that's where the blues thing came in, you know, that's where the, the essence of wanting to be a better musician and not worrying about wanting to be a pop star, that's where that came in. Let's get together there, down at the Nag's Head tonight and really stretch out. So that's what would happen, we'd, we'd get together to stretch out, you know, push the limits one against the other. Uh, and it got popular, didn't, didn't care what you looked like, you know, but if you could play well, I mean there were lots of people flying off the norm, if you know what I mean, and that's how that happened, but it was down to basically black music.